Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love tarot reading session for you Aries. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is an exclusive love reading for you Aries. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Aries, I invite you to follow me on my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out my online store, the blog, the website, sunshine-tv.com. It will have the details of the products and services that we offer outside of YouTube platform. Um, yesterday, we have uploaded um, the New Moon in Virgo um, blog. It is written, okay? It's a blog. And um, if you would like to read about how the new moon will affect your sign, um, I would suggest to go to the website or I'll put the link down in the description box for you, okay? It's new moon in Virgo. And also, thank you, thank you for those who have purchased the merchandise. Um, you can avail or check out our merchandise via the website itself or our Etsy store. I'll put the link down in the description box below of the etsy store okay so thank you in advance for supporting me there let's see what's coming forward in love relationship dating getting to know in today's reading aries we will be looking at the overall energy the mutual energy between you and your person um the challenge predictive outcome and advice depending on the message for today i will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading okay so this is for Aries. What is the love message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the Aries friends out there. Um, this is for you. Let's look at what's happening to your world. Love, relationship, dating, getting to know. Um, let's pull one card for your overall energy, Aries. You've got the four of wands in upright position. Four of wands. This is your overall energy. I feel like someone is coming back or they have returned. Um, you're getting along with someone, with somebody. It looks like the two of you, you're getting along. It's floating. Um, seems to be, an, it seems to be a very, um, I'm hearing the word typical, standard, holding hands. Um, it's, it's getting along. It's, it's working. Um, you're connected. There's no drama. But there's not enough. This is very passionate. You could be in a honeymoon stage. You could be rekindling. I mean, this is stable. But I don't I don't pick up an intuitive message that you and your person have opened up their feelings towards you or your you to them. But this is a very good dynamic, you know, four of wands. Look at that. It looks like two fairies, you know, the dynamic of the two person in here. Um, it is amazing. It's in synchronized. It means that the relationship or the connection you've got, your dynamic is really compatible. There's a lot of compatibility. There's a lot of adventure that you do together. I mean, I mean look at the synchronicity of their hands. Um, one of you is very protective as well. If you look at how the other fairy is um, holding the other fairy, you know, it's very... Um, it's very protective. It's very comfortable. The dynamic is free-flowing. Okay? It's pretty obvious that you guys are special. Uh, what is the challenge? Okay, two cards wanted to come out. Ouch. <laughs> the Seven of Swords and the Emperor card. Okay? Um, so you are in a very compatible connection or relationship. Okay? However, the challenge is that there was a third party or... This is a version of you and your person when you get along. But when you don't get along, this is this con this is converted into a zombie. <laughs> you know, so wow, interesting. Something so great, it could turn into something really, really badass. Okay. So Seven of Swords, the Emperor card. I'm getting like this is you and your person's great dynamic. Great lover, great friends, a lot of passion with it, with, with, an, with one another. But when you and your person get into a fight, um, if you are a fairy here, you guys could convert into a zombie the way you fight. Like, rawr. Um, Emperor card, there's a lot of immaturity in here. It's possible that there was a third party in here, Seven of Swords. But 
um yeah very challenging the dynamic is good but when you don't get along but in you and your person goes into um goes into a fight a misunderstanding it's crazy panic mode you know um so let's see um let's start your read so this is the overall energy this is the challenge let's pick up some intuitive message in the past and let's connect it in the current energy and historically let's understand what really is going on so in the past you've got the nine of swords in reverse clarified by the four of cups um in the past i feel like you don't i feel like in the past you're not happy that you're not the priority i feel like in the past someone is not happy because i'm not the priority i oh i always need to follow up i always need to chase before i could get the attention you know because after the nine of swords the four of cups you've got the ace of pentacles so i feel like it's a one-way relationship in here where you can get a reply if you push or if you force okay the ace of pentacles in upright position let's clarify that you've got the two of wands yeah i mean these are good cards ace of pentacles two of wands but i feel like it was born because someone gave an ultimatum someone gave someone a nudge a follow-up you know for some of you they won't move if you don't push or force or if you don't trigger something it would remain the same um ace of pentacles two of wands it's possible that for some of you, um, you've met someone recently while you are still in a connection, in a getting to know or in a relationship with another person. So there's an element of a third part in here because um, you've got the seven of swords in here. So I'm getting like because, you know, the other relationship, Aries, is that you don't prioritize me. I always have to beg for your time. I always have to chase you. Um, I've decided to create a third party or you know for some of you guys four of cups this is boring I'm bored I'm gonna create a third party that's why you've got a seven of swords in here as a challenge and because there was a third party it has affected the four of wands your dynamic this is the overall vibe you've got a great dynamic but it was challenged because of a third party or immaturity or I'm hearing the word illegal <laughs> You know, the Emperor card in here, I'm getting like the Emperor card in reverse. This is also not having a proper approach to handle a rekindling, a relationship, like not systematic, not consistent. So connecting that Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, this, pos this person possibly, you and your person, you could have a great dynamic, but you don't have enough time. Or one of you is demanding, you know, we really get along. But you don't have time with me. That's why we fight. You know, how can we cultivate this into the next level if you don't have time? So one of you, Emperor card, if the, if you're not involved in a third party, you're definitely in a situation where one has more say versus the other. Also, there's an element of one person. You always have to wait for them. You always have to be flexible for them. You always have to give. And the other person has to take. And the other person could not take because it's just one way. Or it's a feeling of, hey, I know you love me. I, I know you like me. I know you have feelings for me. But why are you on and off? You know, Emperor card in reverse. This is they don't have a system. They know how to make you laugh. They know how they know how to make love. They know how to make you laugh. They know how to create a great dynamic, a fun, a loving intimacy. But they don't know how to stay consistent, you know, like, you know, um, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the two of ones. For those of you who is not involved in a third party, they're, they're so good in Ace of Pentacles in the beginning. But then later on, two of ones, they disappear. Like, they offer the Ace of Pentacles in the next picture. You're the only one there. They disappear. So it's possible that you have a great dynamic but it's it's inconsistent you know you could meet people who makes us happy intimacy passionate you know you could be in a relationship with in the beginning it was great but somehow it disappeared or it just died down um now the last card from your past is the five of pentacles in reverse 
clarify that by the king of swords so i feel like in the past you make up you break up you love you hate but at the end of the day when your person wake up had a wake up call or one of you this they always come back five of pentacles when this is in upright position this is when we fight goodbye break up you know but this is in reverse it means that there's a lot of situation in the past and in the current energy where you guys are on and off okay you have a good dynamic you are compatible you're compatible in loving as friends but you're also compatible when you fight you know like because you're so compatible you know how to trigger them they know how to trigger you the compatibility in fighting is also good i hope it's making sense you know how to trigger them and they know how to push it to their to your to your limit and but the thing is yes you might have fight you make up you break up you separate but there will always come a time in the past up until now that one of you will have this wake up call and it makes sense and i will return because five of pentacles is an energy when this is in reverse i left you but hey i changed my mind because i realized that i was impulsive i was not fair i was acting upon my emotion my impulsive emotion my immaturity now that we're no longer fighting you know the heat of the matter is not so up and tense now i'm coming back as a king of sword it makes sense that i should say sorry i should connect i should reconnect we should start all over again but you're losing something between between the time you break up you separate and then there was that gap that i don't know what happened that gap create you and your person a distance every time you fight you make up it create it creates a gap and that gap it's possible that your person had a third party or it's possible that you change, you know. I don't know how long you had a gap, you know, in in in, in those gap that you break up, maybe two months, three months, or maybe a year, maybe one week only. But you change, you know. People change. We change. I mean, I'm surprised whenever, you know, in Facebook, we've got a history. No, in, face, in Facebook, we've got this, you know, memory like it shows you 10 years ago of what you posted and sometimes i'm surprised like is this really me we change every day we change every day we learn so whenever you break up or you disconnect you create a gap and in that gap one of you might have a third party met someone or one of you has you know give change and of course whenever you fight even though you make up it creates dots you know it tarnish the beautiful dynamic most especially if you haven't healed okay uh in the current energy you've got the four of pentacles in upright position if you're still connected with this person you guys are holding back you know you like each other you love each other but you guys are holding back you know and you've got the ten of swords sorry the ten of wands the tower card you guys are in a complicated situation complexity okay this is a jumper card yeah ten of pentacles you guys want each other do you know that you know one of you want each other but they're holding back you could still be in like one of you is making it difficult look at that prickly look at that and the ten of wands prickly look at that okay so in the current energy because of the many times you make up you break up or because one of you has caused a third party this overall dynamic it was affected it it could not come out you know you guys are stable but one of you is holding back four and four it's holding back to show the stability one of you is definitely holding back one of you is definitely um not really showing the real feelings they have a wall it could be you it could be them the reason why they have a wall or someone is holding back it's because they haven't moved on with the third party they're ready to talk but not yet ready to forgive you guys are in a connection or in a relationship where you keep coming back together five of pentacles but you'd never really healed or forgiven each other or for some of you you know guys you've never really learned to deal with each other when you guys fight okay you are compatible but when fight you're so compatible but 
you're so compatible that when it comes to fighting, you're also compatible, but you've never learned how to deal with each other when you fight. Like when you fight, you really fight. None of you lower down their guard or lower down their ego or none of you is willing to give way. You know, for example, me and my partner, he knows that I'm not in a good mood, so he would step back. And if he's not in a good mood, I would step back, you know, so it's like a give and take. If you've got this amazing dynamic, why don't you apply this when you fight, you know, or when you have a misunderstanding? Because when you fight, it's like the tower card. You know, for some of you up until now, you've got a tower card. You're still explosive. Like you're still boom. There's still a hidden, there's still a hidden war or a hidden fight or a hidden annoyance. Or there's a hidden energy of I hate you. That's why I'm holding back. But you can't live without them. Because you're still talking to them. You're still manifesting them. You know, you've got a ten of pentacles. You're still manifesting this person to be with you. To connect with you. But there's a block. You know, how can you manifest a person? Love and hate them at the same time. You know, so this is complex. It's you guys. <clears throat> you know, ten of wands. You guys are complicated. You guys, when you love, you love. But when you do not like each other, it's also complicated. You like to be with each other, but you don't like to show that energy that you like each other. Or you don't want to open up your feelings that you like each other or you want to reconcile each other. And moreover, if you don't talk, you manifest each other. But when they're back or when you're back and when you're, or when you're connecting again, you're holding back. So, I mean, if I am the universe, if I am the referee here, I'm going to be confused, Aries, on what you really want. When they're around you, you push them away or you hold back. And so as the other person. When this, when, this, when this person is connecting to you, talking to you, they also hold back or they push you away. So what do you really want? You want each other, but you push, you push each other away. You know, ten of wands, complicated I want you, but I don't want you. So come, come and, sh you know, come and chase me. Tower card. So that's the vibe I'm getting from you in the current energy. You're manifesting each other. You like each other, but you don't say it. You don't show it. You even push them away. But when you push them away, you manifest them back. So it's like you're, you and your person is acting against your feelings, against what you really want deep deep inside because you've got a 10 you know you've got a 10 in here um let's look at the immediate future for you you've got a seven of wands in the reverse yeah i feel like from now up until the immediate future you need to learn your lesson guys you know something needs to change because at the end of the day there is a two of cups a seven of wands in the reverse you're just going to waste your time if you keep if both of you will stay in this energy of holding back, ego, playing hard to get, playing Cupid. If both of you, if you and your person continue this kind of energy, if this is the energy that you give one another, then there's no point of connecting. Okay, um, because you're just you're connecting, but you're creating a gap. You're connecting, you're calling, you are you are in a relationship, but you're creating more damage to an existing damage. In the immediate future, seven of wands in reverse. Stop the fight, stop the holding back, stop the ego, and you guys can reconcile completely. You know, two of cups, six of cups, you know. In the immediate future, you will still, and your person will still um, take a risk, you know. The final card in the immediate future is the full card. This is your connection with this person is undeniable. Like your chemistry is above. If I if I compare you as a couple to another couple, you're perfect. But you let your fight, your misunderstanding to get in the way of this amazing connection. If there was a third party... And Aries or this person is connecting. Or if there was a third party and you're still connecting, you're still accepting them. And then pushing, pushing them away. It, this, this just means that you are accepting someone but you're not yet done 
or you're not yet, you haven't forgiven them or you haven't moved on from the past. Your connection, your dynamic is amazing. It's compatible, but you also spoil your connection because you cannot forgive, you cannot forget, and you cannot move on from the pain and the hurt that you cause one another. That's why it's always going to come, it's always going to fall into default of unfinished business because the dynamic, the feelings, the chemistry is so strong that it can really out throw the negative energy but you guys as human you cling on to that you you in here look at that you know ten of wands the tower card you 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 and your person create or hold on into something that you can take against each other you know a relationship whether it's friendship or romantic it's a two become one now, if you will always find fault to blame with the other person and to hold back grudge, bitterness, it will never be successful, no matter how great your dynamic is, because you let the evil, the low vibe to take over this amazing connection. Now, in the immediate future, you guys have the full card. You guys are soulmate, do you know that, you know? You can never forget this person because you've got some amazing, amazing adventure, amazing feelings with one another. The problem in here is they're around you, they're connecting with you, and you push them away. Or you're connecting to them, you're allowing them to come back into your life without actually forgetting, forgiving, or moving on from whatever hurt or pain they caused you, okay? Um, it's so simple. If you haven't moved on and if you cannot accept the pain, the hurt, the betrayal of this person, then don't ever connect. Because if you connect and you push them away or if you blame or you nag about what they did in the past, then you should not have accepted them in the very beginning. Yeah. The past, the ego, it always creates a block into into anything in terms of relationship with me oh i've been betrayed a third party but i want love so i need to forgive i need to forget it's not stupidity it's courage it's brave you know so aries i hope this makes sense this is a beautiful dynamic i'm seeing in the future one of you will connect one of you will return one of you will take the risk again but if you do not know how to handle each other in your worlds then it will always end up this way break up make up break up make up a sick pattern so this is your reading aries thank you so much for tuning in thanks for being here i hope you like it i'm sorry it is intense i'm just a reader i'm a blunt reader um yeah thank you again for your time i'll see you soon and have a great day bye bye